Okay, how we doing? I promised you this little walkthrough a little while ago. This is the house I currently have. I've had it for since I started this game, actually. Um, started this on Farm Manager. That is field 14, 15, 16, and 17 on Ravenport. And, yeah, I don't have all my equipment under garages, covers, and all that crap yet. I'm, it's one of the things I'm working on fixing. So, it is what it is. Okay. I need to fix some audio here, so... Yeah, because even that's blasting me out a little bit. I don't use the headset much anymore. Okay. So, I put the shop in. I've done some landscaping around here. Oddly enough, this all this gravel's recent. I like that little Lindner truck. Um, it's a handy little go-getter. This is my primary go-getter truck now. I've just bought this in the last couple of weeks. I don't use it much, but that little Lindner, I like. And that log trailer back there. It hasn't been used much on this map. I discovered it with um, No Man's Land, actually. It works really well. And then milling machine, snow plow, and I know you can't see it all that well, but there are pallet forks right there. Because, yeah, I was dumb and I used to do it that way. Okay, and then, yeah, I'm a shop, and then before I discovered the mad thing, before it was a thing, the sprayer, that's the RYC 6 meter plow. I believe that's a 4440 deer? 4840. Coon sprayer. I used to use that for herbicide. I have now turned friggin' weeds off on this save because I don't have the time to deal with it. This spreader I have used forever. I usually use it for lime. And it usually gets refilled with this. And I've been using this auger wagon for a little bit now, too. It's not a bad wagon, actually. Now that we got the close equipment taken care of, let me show you what we actually own here. Because I have made some purchases. This field is on my to-do list. We are almost there. I could, oh, I could buy it now, but I really don't want to drop the money on it yet. But, um, yeah, that's where I'm at. I own a little over half of this map now. 13 I just bought yesterday when I was in this save. While I was working on getting the soybeans pulled up, which netted me about a million and a half, because I planted every field I have in soybeans. I really wish they would park that below there. So, yeah, take you over to the truck yard here. I do this on the foot, but it's just, I've got equipment everywhere. So, yeah. Um. 8-2 fuel tanker. Uh, that stock trailer does everything but horses. And then that's the Dajnet, as you can see. Um, flatbed off of PV maps. That little international is not a bad truck. It's a little limp, limp for power, but the tanker behind it does pretty good. And I use it for the flatbed and the stock trailer, too. These uh, belly dumps hold 100,000 each. I got those off from Deadman, actually. And, yeah, those little red guys back there, that whole set's 180,000 liters. Um, I have trouble finding good dollies, actually. If you use a two-axle version of that dolly, it, like, bugs on this map something hard. I don't understand why. But I've had that set up forever. And they do all right. I think they hold like 68,000 apiece, something like that. So, yeah. And that's field eight. That is about to be combined with 9, 10, and 11 over here, which I combined a long time ago. I have solid fur in that little auger wagon. I love the IT runner stuff because you can just throw it wherever. I got my harvesters over here for the time being. And there's the 45-foot lizard draper headers love those and these little croissant uh, well they're not croissants what are they they're uh, 
Oh, I'll show you. <laughs> These little headers work pretty good. Yeah, all max. They do really, really well. Great for mobility and getting around and bringing stuff for contracts. Do that all the time. So, yeah, 9, 10, and 11, that's, that's one big field, as you can see. I mean, yeah, I need to line stuff, too. Sorry, I had to sneeze. And the only way I can get my mouse to work is if I go to the map. So, that silo you see over there is a silage silo. When I bought this field, I was using it primarily for corn and grass. All that silo does is... age it, so I don't have to use a bunker. And I put that in very early on, and I had to do a lot of landscaping to fix that. Because that thing had a cliff on it, on this side. I've done a lot of landscaping work to fix a lot of the stuff I didn't know how to fix back when I started this map. Ooh, we gotta fix that. Okay, hold on. We're gonna fix that right now, because I just didn't know that that was that bad. Okay, hold on. Sorry, this is just irritating. I've had to fix a lot of this crap. Because it's just way too rough. Okay, and then bring that down there. And I need a smaller brush, please. And there. There. Because I can't make the road disappear. That just wouldn't be cricket. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's better now. Okay. That won't happen again. I'll fix that grass later. Maybe. I'm not really worried about grass on this map right at the moment. And I need to fix this, apparently. I didn't realize that this was a freaking problem, too. But, yeah. this That's all this thing does. And honestly, I was loading out of it the other day and I fell off the cliff and got really really stuck but yeah I'll remember that I gotta f you know what I'm here and this is honestly how I've been fixing this map is I'll find something and then I'm like uh, I gotta fix it it's irritating okay uh, how do I want to do this let's go Yeah. Okay, and then... I don't know. I need... Okay, then I gotta bring it back down, because that's just wrong. I need you up there. Yeah. That's more better. Yeah, that's more better. Okay. Sorry about that, Vic. Just landscaping. I know how to now, Lynn. I didn't when I started this map. That thing got used twice. And it's been parked here ever since. Um, I probably should use that Rossel Mash a little bit more, but that's what took the corn off this field the first couple times I planted corn, and then it's been soybeans ever since. So, yeah. I don't know. Oh, and while we're on the subject, um... I found something yesterday that warrants a question or six. Because I didn't know that this was down here. 
And I haven't found a really great way of getting down here yet. But, uh, yeah. I have got a severe, serious question. Now, okay. Hey, cut it out. We get the boat, right? Okay. So somebody lost their boat down here. Um, yeah. Great. Um, what the crap is this tire doing down here? Seriously? And look at how big it is. I mean, where's the rest of it? I want to drive the thing, and that is probably one of the most horrible tread patterns I've seen for an off-road tire. And when I discovered this, I had the uh, GNU RT, and I came down this thing with it to make sure I wasn't seeing things. I can't make that up. So yeah, that's 9, 10, 11 there. There's 8, the top side. All mine. Because, you know, I do that. And then uh, this is 7. I bought it. I also own the biogas plant over there. Surprisingly, the biogas plant does not pay a lot on this map, and then it has a 50,000 liter limit on the hopper, and it's just, yeah, takes forever to do a massive silage harvest. It really does. That's why I went back to doing soybeans. Now, that's 12. It's mine. That's 6. It will be mine, but I don't want to do sugar beet. I just don't. And I'm kicking myself right now, because I bought 13 here. It needs another layer of fur. I'm waiting for the next growth stage. That's why my spreader's there. And this is probably one of the better spreaders I've ever used. But it's got potatoes on it. Seriously. Frigging potatoes. I... Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Love this John Deere. Has a sprayer but a bed for it too, but I never use it. I hate sprayers. They're a pain in the neck. They get stuck on everything. So, yeah. The... All those fields, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, all had soybeans on them. That's like 200, 250 acres worth of frickin' soybeans. It took several hours with helpers and everything to get that done. I just, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. And I just picked this up to do, and that's out of the Sputnik pack. That's gonna do these potatoes. And then this tractor right here, I love this little guy. You can see how many hours I got on there, 56 of them. It's a little loud, but it's just a handy little rig. It technically doesn't have a PTO per se, I suppose. A lot of the PTOs connect up here somewhere and like drag in the ground and whatnot, but it doesn't seem to affect the running of the thing. It should have a PTO back here, but there's not even an option for it. But it runs this thing. I checked. It works. I, I, I don't understand. So, yeah. Unfold. But, yeah, this thing is part of the, uh, the Sputnik pack. You can't get that on the hub. That was from the mod creator whose name escapes me right now. Got it recommended to me from Smitty. And, um, yeah. See? It works, dude. Totally works. I don't get it. it. Takes 140 horsepower. So yeah, I'm gonna wind up using that thing and that setup when these potatoes are ready to harvest. So yeah. Okay. Now on to other things. I think this is probably the most I've driven this truck since I've owned it because. Half the time I come up with things to do and I wind up being in a tractor or one of my semis and I just take it instead. But, yeah, that's a good portion of my fleet at the moment. So, yeah, you know, it, I've got a stupid obscene amount of hours on this map. I get close to like 190. I'll check it when I get down to the other part of my farm here. I just... Yeah, I've got a lot going on this map. I don't play it very often, and I've recently cleaned this up. Okay, so I had a different silo than that one. 
Uh, that one came out the other day. It, that, that's the wood silo, and it's got just a new skin on it, but it's part of a pack. Came with that barn over there. I also put in this shed, but there's the harvester for down here. I've got my 49.55 there and a forage wagon. I've got nothing but grass in that field there. That's 19. Cows here, and they're doing actually decent. I am fairly happy with them at the moment. As you can tell, I have the Stockman mod. So they're wonderful for the time being. I probably need to empty out the slurry again. I like that little K tanker thing. That is awesome. It doubles as a flatbed. It's awesome. Um, I'll show you. So you got the usual tank. I'll just, there's almost nothing there. But tension belts, hello. Put pallets on it, it's awesome. It's got a couple different variations of it. One that'll hook to a semi too, I like that one. I've got my chickens down here and that pen is full. I think there's like 500 chickens in there. And yeah, we got eggs coming, we're good. Again, I like the IT runner stuff and another one of those tankers. Now that's 82's tanker, but that front axle there, you can lift that one like you can with the um, Phoenix, where it's variable lift. That was the first one I bought. I kind of like that one. And then um, the other thing that came with that wood silo over there was this barn. And it's a hay barn. But wait, there's more. That's awesome. I love this barn. It comes with a house, too. Look at this. Look at this. I got my water tanker here, my IT runner truck. I mean, that's not the best truck on the planet, but it does all right. I've got the, the planter here that I plant all the fields down here with grass and wheat and oats and what have you, because I take care of my own critters. I really need to wash that tractor. I told you I had some of these. I have a lot of these. I got two more I gotta show you too. Again, spreader. I've had that spreader forever too. This thing's fairly new. I like this. This is my truck that hauls horses, because this bed here will haul all the animals. I love that thing. It is so cool. And that's all gear for my 49.55. Mower setup, which, there you go. Pottinger Novacat. Good setup. I like that one. I love the weight, because I kind of really need it with this bucket. That's the big 3,000 liter bucket. And that, tr that uh, yeah, loader. This trailer is awesome. It's, when you download it, you can get it out of the uh, the hay options next to the balers and stuff. This thing all has auto load. It'll load pallets. It'll load bales, round or square. Doesn't matter. Takes 12 bales. It'll load like I think 12 pallets on it too. It just doesn't care. I quit using this thing. I got smart enough. But this little guy is actually very handy. It's that um, bale shredder that's got its own freaking bales hinds to come with it it's handy for what it was and that was before i realized i'm an idiot why am i bailing this crap but this thing takes all the hay all the straw all the grass what have you and then it uh, hold on i don't want to walk around the truck it stores it upstairs and don't get excited about the bales because the bales are garbage they're crap they're, they're, they're decorative and there's no way to get rid of them i want to get rid of them they drive me nuts but it stores it all up here i've got like fifty thousand liters of straw in here and it's just on the floor pay no attention to the bales because the, the, the no uh, uh that came with the mod and they are good for absolutely nothing this barn though is just oh my god Yes, please. And doors you can close from the top rack. I like it. I really do. And then, yeah, so this is like the starting area down here where if you go new farmer mode, yeah, this is the property that you get with new farmer on this map. Damn it. I wound up buying this later, honestly. I started all my farm up there on top of the hill over there at 14. I even own the mansion that's in pieces over there. We still got to go over there yet. But yeah, you got all the barns and all that crap. So yeah, just is what it is.
you know, and it's just the base map, man. I mean, there's nothing special about this at all, but this is the map that taught me how to play this game, and this is the crap I have to fix now. Um, I do have the silo wood from the mod where it was by itself. This pack with that silo in it, it still holds 10 million liters, just like the other one does. Um, but it's it's got matching matching houses and stuff in it, and all that stuff. Um, let's see if I can. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to farmhouses because, yeah, those. That one, that one, and that one. They don't have a sleep trigger on them, so you do need, like, the pillow or the, the mat or whatever. I was just going to throw a pillow on the bed in the house somewhere. But it also comes with... Where is it? it? Didn't come with these, but that's the shed that I used. DJ did a video on this, like, last week. It might have been those sheds, hell, I don't know. But, yeah, that barn was part of the pack, so bang, 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 right? And then you have matching silos. There you go, one, two, three. So, and there's the original silo wood. I didn't get rid of that one, I still got it. So, yeah. Is what it is, man. Okay. Now, I did something very dumb, and I haven't gotten around to straightening this area up yet, so you can see the kind of noob I was when I put all this crap in. I have so much to fix. That house is totally going away. I'm putting a different house in. I'm probably going to put it over by field 13. I haven't made up my mind yet, but my original plan was to have all my equipment sheds and crap over by field 13. But yes, I own this too. So this is my uh, money-making stuff here. These um, wind turbines, the beekeeper house, cell phone antenna, and there you go. Two greenhouses. I've been doing this for a while. So as I'm sure you heard, I have a phone call. So yeah, I'm going to call it here and get this published for you. And you have a good one, huh? Later.